Right around the time when it's a week before the NFL draft, rumors pick up the tempo, and it happens every year. Fans were caught in a whirlwind by two big ones coming out of Carolina and Houston. Alabama quarterback Bryce Young has canceled all his remaining pre-draft visits. Anybody with common sense will know this is a clear indication he is likely going number one overall to the Panthers. It wasn't a huge surprise, but what came shortly after was. It's because multiple insiders say the Texans have begun fielding trade offers for the number two pick. Whispers are growing that GM Nick Casario isn't sold on the other quarterbacks in this class and would prefer to move down. This confirms that what the Chicago Bears did last month was far smarter than many realized and also indicates a significant shift in how the top eight picks could unfold on April 27. Hello Bears fans! Welcome to the channel! Are you curious about Bears? Hit the subscribe button first and make our community bigger. There is still a possibility that three quarterbacks will go in the top four picks, but it sounds like those odds are falling rapidly. If this is true, then the Bears should be excited. It means there is now a genuine chance that at least one of them will be on the board when Chicago is on the clock at number 9. That would be excellent bait for teams picking in the teens and early 20s seeking a quarterback. Teams like Washington, number 16, Tampa Bay, number 19, and even Minnesota, number 23. All will know they must get in front of Tennessee at number 11, who also need a quarterback. The Chicago Bears seem to have played their cards perfectly. People wondered why Poles was so quick to make the trade with Carolina. It appears he may have gotten a sense that teams would cool on the quarterbacks as the draft drew closer. That meant he had to maximize his return as quickly as possible. He succeeded, landing the Bears a go-to receiver and three additional high draft choices. If that weren't enough, he has them in a great position to move down a second time. If two QBs fall into that spot, it's a virtual certainty at least one team will want to come up for one. Outside of that, it's been reported Pittsburgh, number 17, wants Georgia defensive tackle Jalen Carter. All the offensive tackles and one of the top corners will also likely be there. Poles will have plenty of bait to dangle. It will come down to which offer the Chicago Bears would benefit the most from. Yet another reminder that the draft is almost impossible to predict. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to be notified whenever there is a new video.